Well, uh, meanwhile, back on Balakavi. In honor of Gonzo journalism, uh, Charles and I make up a little investigative game to play. Uh, the game is, well, how, uh, how often will we be accosted by beach hawkers? <laughs> Between where we park the bike and the steps that go up to the main column, the traffic circle, yeah, uh, how many times? Well, <clears throat> lazy three kilometer stroll. Interrupted 40 times by aggressive hawkers. I mean, some even grab our arms. We gotta like physically shake them off. We gratefully climb the Colin Beats uh, steps uh, to explore up to the major traffic circle. Oh. Oh. I'm both up. I mean, we're kind of freaking out. We, we we go upstairs in the balcony by the traffic circle uh, just to look you know, at what's going on up below. <laughs> so dispiriting, so tacky, so gaudy. <sighs> yeah, we wander back to our motorbikes on Boga Beach. And we gratefully roar free from the trashy scene, full throttle. <laughs> Leaving behind the worst of this mass trash tourism. Yeah. Charles feels the wind in his hair. Yeah. As we motorbike along the coastline through Condolum Beach to the Mandalvi River and park the bike behind beside the uh, extravagant Aguada Taj Motel. It's a five-star hotel. Mm -hmm. Look, we're 60. We're invisible, so we just want to park the bike and walk on in and make ourselves at home. Uh, and the view from the swimming pool, mm -hmm. back north toward uh, Maharashtra Street and... Uh, Panoramic. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for the lazy from the air pollution blowing down from Bombay. Yeah. Well, uh, the awesome, uh, the sheer magnitude of the view, uh, Goa is less with 106 kilometers of Arabian Sea coastline. Well, to finish uh, our exploration, we follow up along the side of the Mondovi River and cross the heavily trafficked uh, bridge into Panjim, the capital of Goa now. And, uh, during the uh, 1964 to 73 period. Panjim, quaint, sleepy backwater with some Portuguese architecture, big cathedral. Oh, uh, yeah, and uh, back in uh, hippie days, this is uh, the first impression you got of Gaul was coming off the boat there and uh, uh, a Portuguese tableau of, uh, you know, raking with exotica. Our unforgettable first impression of Gaul. Uh, from the ferry landing, we'd get on the back of a motorcycle taxi uh, to uh, our favorite beach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chapora, Kalandu, Baga, and Juna, Vagator, Little Vagator, and, and the more uh, hermetic, the more, you know, want to do their own thing, and really isolate themselves. So they headed down to Culver Beach where Eddie first sheltered with a native family, 1966, yeah. <sighs> what is it? Uh, with large modern Indian cities that they have become world-class horror shows. 
out of control. Gigantic bummers. Uh, I'm talking about Pond Jim today. Hello. Dangerous. Just to walk across the street. Gritty. Noisy. Overcrowded. How do humans exist like this? Where's the everyday fun? Uh, in this polluted, trashy concophony. Well, Charles and I, we ventured just a, f a few blocks uh, inward from the bridge, uh, drink a weak, lousy, overpriced coffee, and uh, just to take a pee, I have to uh, have the stealth pee in the bushes in a little park. Uh, and we motorbike the hell out of town. <laughs> Get out of here, huh? Mm. Mm -hmm. Work stag to be back on home turf. And Jenna bitch. Charles draws me at the D'Souza guest house. Because, well, Charles and I have split up from being travel partners. Oh, look at my rare 60 day, and you can't renew it, visa in India, so precious to me. Uh, yeah, that's why I moved here. Uh, thanks, Pink Holly, for the suggestion. Uh, yeah, I'm abandoning the relatively plush and Juna Villa, Charles, and now my safety deposit box is the trusted hand of my landlord, Albert de Sousa. Here, man, keep my stuff safe, okay? Sure, no worries. <sighs> yeah, my my days in India. Exactly numbered, yeah. Stateless person on a refugee job. <laughs> uh, 60 days back, so not extendable. Just, you're lucky we let you in in the first place for 60 days. Yeah, okay, yeah. But that's another start. <clears throat> Don't let me get started on that. <laughs> Being a world citizen for the last 40 years. Renting out patches of our earth. Yeah, renting them out. Yeah, uh, countries, huh? yeah, off the scale arrogant, sucks big time. Okay, shh. Let's get back to the main thing. Huh? Well, what a refreshing redemption. <sighs> to be alone with gallons, you know, and humble travelers again. <sighs> yeah. But thanks, Charles, uh, for watching my back in Bombay, guiding me into a comfy landing zone in Goa. Uh, no regrets, man. Uh, you know, we're still friends, and we rendezvous at the German bakery uh, for breakfast. Just flying back to London today. Special breakfast. 